Good morning everybody and welcome to Gigs and Guitars and today's episode is all about making your guitar as safe as it could be when you are playing and what I mean by that is very simply this it's all about straps <laughs> We all like to buy um, guitars really, that's why you're watching the channel, this is why I'm uh, doing the channel. We, we spend a lot of time and money on researching guitars to buy, to play at home, to, to play and perform with, you know. Um, but quite often the neglected part of a guitar is simply the, the, the accessories that attach it to, to, to your body when, when you're playing. And if you can imagine the scenario, you go to a mountain bike shop and you buy a £2,000 state-of-the-art mountain bike and uh, the owner of the shop says, do you know what, I'm going to throw in some lights and I'm going to throw in a, a bicycle lock and there you have it, you've got this fantastic package, you leave it at the cycle rack in your hometown and you've locked it up with this lock you've got free from the shop and then next minute you come back and it's gone, the bike's gone. Same with guitars, you might end up with a, with a package where you've got a really nice guitar, you've saved up your, your well-earned money for, and you know, you, you get it home to it, wow, it's fantastic, you're cleaning, you're polishing it, you're really enthusiastic about it, and then you come to put your strap on, and it might be a cheap strap with, uh, say for example, uh, man-made ends which attach to the, the buttons, the mounting buttons on your, on, on your guitar at either side, and you know for the first few times you might actually attach the strap to the guitar and you come to play it yeah it might be perfectly fine but given over time those holes within the strap will actually wear and become larger and on some guitars the actual buttons themselves aren't particularly ideal uh, for mounting the guitar strap now what i mean by that is some are quite small in diameter and but equally some are quite large in, in diameter. Say for example my Ibanez JS1000, uh, my Joe Satriani signature series. It comes with really large strap buttons on the body. Now I've had that guitar for many, many years and the strap that I'm currently using on it, I've used for many, many years as well. And it's a good quality Ibanez strap, really, really good. And the strap buttons on the guitar are massive. Now the problem for me is that when I'm sitting down and playing my guitar, I find it, um, how can I put this, when the strap is dangling around uh, my lower body, if you will, and it's still attached to the guitar, I find it gets in the way, it becomes a nuisance, and within a, a minute or so I'm pulling the strap off, and every, each and every time I pull it off the strap buttons, it's causing wear to the, the leather ends of the, uh, of the strap and elongating the holes and it's only going to be a matter of time before the strap becomes unsafe where your guitar might end up on the floor. And that's where the expensive bit comes in because you might be to repair bills, um, it might snap the neck depending on what uh, guitar you've got. Now come on to that shortly, you might end up causing injury to your foot um, I've done that, a guitar on your foot when you're wearing slippers or bare feet, so that's what I do around the house, you know. It can cause a nasty injury because some guitars are light, some guitars are incredibly heavy, you know. So we want to talk about making your guitar safe, so never discount the fact about having a good strap and a good securing mechanism on your guitar to make your guitar safe. Now. Apart from your guitar falling to the floor and smashing itself to bits, potentially, or breaking your foot, um, if you're at a gig and it does that, could be quite a bit embarrassing. Something you may want to avoid because, yeah, people will remember that and it could be embarrassing if you're leaving the stage and you've, get, you've potentially got a guitar in two bits. So moving on, over the past 20, 30 years I've been playing guitar, um, I've been using strap locks to secure my guitar strap to my guitars so that the guitar will not fall to the floor while I'm playing it. And a lot of professionals use these. There are lots and lots of uh, products out there which you can buy and they're all slightly different. And what I will do during the course of this video, I'll be putting up some photos on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, Demarzio make a range of straps which Gary Moore used to use 
which basically screw to the guitar as a small strap, a bit like a rucksack kind of uh, system, if you will. It's got like a plastic clip that clips into another bit, which is uh, which is screwed to, to your guitar where the buttons uh, used to be. Uh, that's one method. Uh, the system that I use is by a company called uh, Shallow. And I got these the other day because in a previous video, you may have remembered that I've been, I did talk about my Ibanez and the fact that I've been meaning to put strap lots on my guitar now for the best part of a decade. Well, that time has come. So the Ibanez is gonna have these strap locks fitted today. You're gonna to quickly see that process, which is incredibly simple to do. The strap locks themselves cost in about a reach of say 20 pounds, but when you consider like, you know, uh, you might spend say a good few hundred pounds on a guitar or even several thousand pounds of uh, yeah, well-earned money on a guitar, 20 quid for a set of them, you know, it is a no-brainer. It can stop that embarrassment and it can stop uh, damage from occurring to, to, your, to your pride and joy. So we'll go through that, but what I will talk about as well is the, the system that I used is by Shallow and they're actually branded as security locks. Now, these are the original type. There's about, say, £20. But they do another type, which is called the S-Lock series, which come in a nice little box, just like that. And I have these fitted to my Gibson Les Paul Standard, and I have these fitted to my uh, Fender Stratocaster. And I'm going to fit these black ones, which is the normal uh, security lock, which is a black chrome colour which suits the hardware on my guitar. So you can get them in any colour you want. So if you've got uh, vintage uh, uh, hardware on your, your Strat or your, your Les Paul, you can get nickel plated, you can get chrome plated, you can get uh, gold plated. Um, it's, it's endless, they're, they're all out there. But the key thing is, these are designed to keep your guitar safe, to stop that embarrassment, to stop the accidents from happening. So let's look at the process. Okay everybody, the, uh, the strap lock system is fitted to the strap of the guitar and it's uh, it's ready to go really and oh that's it, just dropped the strap on the floor, never mind. And here we are, it's a very simple system, um, just uh, catching the tripod with the strap. So what, what, we, what we have here, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but this little thing here is basically a pin. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see that it's being black, but it pulls out, it pulls out this way which is that way, away from the strap, which releases the pin at the bottom to give clearance. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, I can't quite tell from what I'm looking at. But anyway, needless to say, what this does, it's like a horseshoe shape. And all it does, goes down onto the guitar like that, and you should be able to hear it click when it secures itself. So listen, and it's in. Nice and secure, very quick and very easy to uh, to, to uh, swap straps if you, I mean for example my other straps will just go straight onto this, same with this one here, bring it up and we're on. We are absolutely 100% secure now, um, I think they look really nice these as well with it being black, they match the hardware of the guitar, the black chrome. Looks well, really good. I've got my really old Ibanez strap on, which I'm really fond of. And there you have it. Uh, one strap lock system fitted to, uh, to, to the Ibanez guitar. Uh, very cheap, 20 quid for the actual strap locks themselves. Uh, they work on almost any strap. Um, and a little bit difficult in getting the back, uh, the back strap lock in, but, uh, but it's there now. It's only because the leather was a little bit thick and it wasn't even. Um, but needless to say, it's on, it's safe, it's secure. So all my guitars now have strap lock systems fitted. As I've said earlier, there's lots and lots of uh, different uh, manufacturers out there. Check them out and see which, which one suit you.
since we were last here on the channel, which was about three weeks ago when I did the uh, how to do a lockdown video, uh, I've made one or two little bits of changes, you might have noticed. Uh, we're using a new camera now, uh, it's the Ca uh, Canon uh, EOS uh, M50 autofocus. It's in high definition. I don't think <laughs> with a face like this <laughs> I can subject you all to 4K just yet. I'm going to have to sort of work on that, I think, to be honest. But hopefully, uh, you'll see better quality uh, editions of gigs and guitars in the future, which is really, really good. And the other thing is, is the last three weeks, it's been quite quiet on my part on the channel, really, because my broadband has been absolutely dire. And if, if you can remember, dial up connections. That's been the state of my broadband for the last few weeks, but that's been resolved by BT. So hopefully we're back online with getting videos uploaded. Um, if you want to see anything on the channel, like I say, it's still a relatively new channel, drop me a few comments on the uh, it, beneath the video and just let me know your thoughts. Let me know how the channel's progressing. Let me know what you want to see and I'll try and feature it. And once I can get out of the my home studio, which is incidentally in a disused bedroom in my house, um, I want to go out playing live, it's just not the same is it really, but we'll just have to wait for that moment in time. And there's always time in the day for a brew. Cracking.